Commissioner, why did Arizona say no to the Martin Luther King holiday? Well, uh, as you know, we put it to the voters, and they voted it down 50% uh, to 49%. Will the Super Bowl be held here? And what about the Fiesta Bowl? Isn't it true Arizona faces a total boycott of black athletes and celebrities? Why, no, that's not true at all. As a matter of fact, we have two well-known black celebrities who have agreed to be our spokesmen, men who have their finger on the pulse of the black community. I'd like to introduce them now. Here are Tom and Tom, the Brothers Brothers. <laughs> Oh, that's all I've got. <laughs> I hope you return it. <laughs> oh, how about on instruments, eh? Thank you, Jets. <laughs> Kick it off, Tom. Come to Arizona, the Grand Canyon State, and don't be put off by this racial debate. The folks here aren't racist, I know this is true. They still show the Jeffersons on Channel 2. We didn't come here to see a nightclub act. I still want to know why Arizona doesn't have a king holiday. Well, why should we give Don King a holiday? I mean, he can't even comb his hair straight. <laughs> That's right. I mean, he's made some great advancements in the world of boxing. We're but... talking about Martin Luther King. <laughs> Who? Is, is he any relation to Alan King or Stephen King or the Billy Jean King? The civil rights leader. Martin King. Ah, oh, Abernathy's friend. Sure, oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, well he, he was certainly nice gentleman, but um, I guess just another holiday would be so inconvenient. I mean, the banks would be closed, you couldn't get your mail, you know. Exactly, and I don't think that's how he would have wanted it. No. I mean, I, I've got it. I say we celebrate from midnight to 8 a.m. I mean, after all, isn't that what he's famous for, having a dream? That's right, he had a dream. <laughs> or we could just have a, a, a white sale or something. <laughs> That's a great idea. I'd be there. I'm sure you would. <laughs> but, but don't you think the Arizona voters were insensitive? Insensitive my left boot. Come on. <laughs> I mean, Arizonians are always looking for a way to sh help you out. Why, the police pulled us over three times just to make sure we knew where we were going. That's right. They even gave us this great big hug around the neck. Wouldn't let go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, we thought we were going to die from all the affection. Yeah, you still, you still got some burns around your neck from all that affection. <laughs> So don't give us any of that doohickey nonsense. Tom, caught your mouth. No, I'm tired of this Franken-turtle bull donkey. Ow! I've I mean, never come on. talked like this before. Well, you talk about hospitality, I'm going to tell them about last night. I'll tell them about last night. We get home late last night, and I'll be gosh darn if the Arizonians didn't light a nice big fire in our lawn so we could find our keys. Yes, they did. <laughs> so it's Heidi Hay and a yippee ki -yay. We love Arizona and we're here to say Please don't think the worst of the average gent Cause they're not all big, it's just 50% Cause they're not all big, it's just 50% 